product that actually nourishes the lips? Yes, please. This lip gloss contains nourishing ingredients such as sea buckthorn, lecithin, and castor oil. How do I describe the texture of this product? Mm, I would say it is a mix between a lip gloss and a lip stain. At first, it has a glossy finish, but after a few minutes, it sinks into the lips to provide this more natural, soft lip color. I find this lip stain very versatile to wear because it's not too much, while still giving a little bit of extra. Our first phase is composed of castor oil, mango butter and rice bran wax. Castor oil is a standard oil in lip products because it is thick so it sticks to the lips better and also offers a lot of shine and moisturization. Rice bran wax is a great wax for this lip product because it will thicken the formula and you don't need to use much of it. If you watched my previous lip balm tutorial you will have already heard me rave all about rice bran wax as the best sustainable alternative to commonly used waxes. Mango butter is a very nice butter that absorbs really fast. Cocoa butter would also be interesting, but I haven't tested it out yet. Of course, you don't need to measure all the ingredients separately, I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. Measure and combine the heated oil phase, heat it to about 75 to 85 degrees so everything melts. In the meantime, you can measure the heat sensitive oil phase with lecithin, sea buckthorn oil and vitamin E. Anytime there's a lip product, I use lecithin because I just love the skin feel and benefits it brings to the lips. It sinks in really fast, leaving a cushiony feeling behind and lecithin being a phospholipid will help lock in moisture and prevent loss of hydration because phospholipids are a key component of our own cell membranes. Sea buckthorn oil is a super nutrient rich oil with a beautiful orange color because of all the antioxidants it contains and will help in reducing oxidative stress occurring on our lips on a daily basis due to UV and pollutants. And vitamin E of course will help preserve our product from going rancid. Also, did you know that lips don't produce as much oils as the rest of the body? So it's nice to replenish them with these high quality oils. Our third phase is magnesium stearate with our pigment. Magnesium stearate is a powder made from magnesium and stearic acid, which offers two benefits. It will help to spread the pigment better and also ensure that the pigment stays longer on the lips. I got this gorgeous Bordeaux pigment from Alexmo and it is the perfect mix between red and pink in my opinion, which looks very natural on the lips. Now ensure your first phase is fully melted and the temperature is at about 40 degrees to add our heat sensitive ingredients. So add in the lecithin oil mix, followed by the magnesium stearate and mica mix. Now it is time to package the lip stain. At first I wanted to fill it in a lip gloss tube but the formula was way too thick for that small opening so I found another tube with a bigger opening. I wish I could have fit it in the tube that had a brush as it would have made application easier but this also did the trick. For the best results I recommend gently scrubbing the lips with a scrub like my berry jam scrub for example. Then once the lips are soft and moisturized this glossy lip stain will go on more evenly. 